it's 9 p.m. in Djibouti. It's time to English new edition for tonight's headlines. Uh, we have. Uh, the head of state, Ismail Margil, has received the vice president of uh, Saudi Arabian Development Fund for the international scene concerning Iraq and surprise towers of uh, Donald Trump in Iraq. Welcome to our newsroom. The President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Margheli, has received today a delegation of the Saudi Development Fund conducted by the Vice President and Permanent Member, His Excellency Mr. Khalid Suleiman Al Khudairi. Both parties have uh, evoked uh, various subjects of uh, common interest. Uh, this fund is uh, intended for the rehabilitation of the Djibouti Galafi Road to serve Ethiopia within the framework for the reinforcement of uh, the corridor Djibouti Galafi. Attended the interview with the, the Minister of uh, Finance uh, and Economy, Mr. Ilyas Musa Dawale. The Minister of Transport and Equipment, Mr. Mohammed Abdul Qadir uh, Musa Halem, the advisor to the President of the Republic for Investment, uh, Ms. Mr. Uh, Fahmi Ahmed Al Haag, and the Sen Secretary General of the Presidency, Mr. Mohammed Abdul Aisa. After the interview, the Minister of Economy and Finance, Ilyas Musa Dawali, and the Vice President of the Saudi Development Fund, Mr. Khalid Suleiman, signed a concessional agreement of $120 million, of which is 14% of this amount is, an ad is a donation. In interview gives National TV, the Vice President of the Saudi Development Fund, Mr. Khalid Suleiman, has reiterated the commitment of uh, his country to provide all the aid and support necessary for our country. It's, it encourages the Djibouti government to continue its uh, effort in the development of the country. He has set up to have met the President of the Republic, Ismail Margheli, with his maintained on several subjects of common interest. Uh, finally, the Vice President of the Saudi Development Fund, Mr. Khalid Suleiman, assured that the Saudi the foundation is, uh, it will always be at the side of the Republic of Djibouti. In an interview, the Minister of Finance, Ilyas Musa Dawali, expressed happy acknowledgement uh, in the Kingdom of uh, Saudi Arabia to his King Salman bin Abdul Aziz uh, on the Prince uh, Crown, the Crown Prince Mr. Mohammed uh, bin Salman, and in the Saudi Development Fund, he has been enjoyed from. Uh, Rehabilitation is agreement of the Djibouti Galafi Road. The President of the Republic, Ismail Omar Gele, has received today Thursday at the Presidential Palace the new Ambassador of Turkey accredited to Djibouti, Mr. Salim. Uh, Salim Levent Sahin Kaya, in a speech issued on the release of his uh, letter of uh, credit, credence, uh, the new ambassador of the Republic uh, of Turkey, Mr. Salim Levent, uh, welcome uh, his new task of maintaining the excellent relations existing between Turkey and uh, the Republic of uh, Djibouti. The ambassador of Turkey has uh, remembered the Republic of the Republic have uh, received it in its uh, short period following his uh, arrival in Djibouti. He threw the same transmit the most uh, sincere vows and happiness and prosperity of the Turkish people to the Djiboutian people. The two peoples are unique. The, he said that by the strong lines of friendship and fraternity have attended the ceremony of remission. Uh, the Foreign Minister, Mr. Mahmoud Ali Yusuf, advisor to the President of the Republic uh, in the file of diplomacy offers uh, Ms. Fatiha Jamaluddin. Que Djibouti joue comme un facteur de stabilité sous votre éminente direction, Monsieur le Président. Étant un État de démocratie, jouissant des libertés fondamentales, le Djibouti 
constitue aussi un exemple non seulement pour sa région, mais aussi pour l'Afrique en général. The Minister of uh, Higher Education and Research, uh, Dr. Nabil Mohammed Ahmed, has uh, received this morning in his office the Rector's uh, Professor Dr. Uh, Guven Sak uh, Tob Itu, University of Turkey, accompanied by strong delegations of, from Turkey. This meeting consists of establishing a bilateral relations uh, to train uh, students so that the questions between employment and training is in a way centered uh, on the technical aspect in this University of Turkey. But it is also a link which makes it possible to reinforce uh, more the relations of friendship existing between the two countries. Uh, in particular, in the file of uh, the higher education, recall that the delegation has come to Djibouti for the first time to enhance uh, bilateral cooperation in a word uh, pronounced by the rectors of the uh, University of Turkey, Dr. Uh, Professor Guven Saktob Itu. Uh, First of and all, thanks uh, for the hospitality. It was one hurdle. Let me say that's one of the that's one of the issues that are going to limit, specify what we are going to do here. Uh, so we would like this to be a sustainable uh, activity in the near future. So there should be Djiboutians who are going to work here. Uh, so and, and uh, right from the outset. So I think that's one of the major issues. That's why we are not only looking at the industry now, but also, you know, uh, focusing on the transforming the labor force is also another issue. That's why we would like to implement some projects with some universities in, in, in your country, right, in Turkey. And really we are uh, very um, happy because it is very efficient cooperation, particularly in the engineering with the uh, technical University uh, uh, in, in Istanbul. Uh, our, our main uh, concern in Djibouti today is to be sure that uh, we will train uh, students in order to have a kind of adequation between employment and training. And the technical aspect is our main concern uh, currently. Uh, we, we, we have implemented in the, at the University of Djibouti uh, some technical uh, vocational uh, training uh, with the, the, the Faculty of Engineering also, but we lack really to, 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 to do more in this, in this uh, field. And uh, I have been told that in your university also you, you, you have this kind of, uh, uh, of training and uh, how to make uh, our, our student to, to give them the opportunity to have uh, the skills uh, required in, in, in their jobs. Uh, I'm confident, really, uh, I'm convinced that uh, we can uh, go forward uh, and, uh, and build uh, something uh, sustainable. As part of a welcome visit to Djibouti, Ogur Ozturk, general manager of Turkey's uh, free trade zones, accompanied by Djibouti's new Turkish uh, ambassador, Levent Shahin Kaya, and four trade experts have uh, carried out uh, gifts of successive uh, installations in the multi-purpose port of Dorale, and those of the International Free Zone of Djibouti, inaugurated on July 5 by the President of the Republic, designed to attract manufacturing companies, financial services, and many other companies. Uh, the Dorale International Free Zone, located at Pika 23, has seen the level of application is grow since uh, it's open last uh, July, indeed in addition to its status as the largest free zones on the African continent, Djibouti International Free Trade Zone has all the characteristics of a modern free zone. It houses spacious hangars, facilities of industrial activities including manufacturing of packaging tools, 
and raw materials processing it benefit from uh, tax exemptions and has uh, the support of a quality supply chain. All these arguments should attract the interest of potential international investors uh, wishing to establish uh, themselves in the new international free zone of Djibouti. On the day of uh, Thursday, December 27, 2018, General Zakaria Shah Ibrahim, Chief of the General Staff of the Armed Forces, uh, flew about the military helicopter security to go to the President Hassan Gulaid Military Schools in Holhol in Ali Sabih region. This visit uh, by the General Zakaria Shah Ibrahim coincided uh, with the end of a training of uh, 400 young recruit men and women recently enlisted in the Jerusalem Armed Forces. Uh, during this visit, uh, Siam Ga was uh, accompanied by General Tahir Ali Mohammed, the Chief of the Defense Staff, uh, and Colonel uh, Abdullahi Abdi, the General uh, Manager of the National Police. Uh, on the descent of the helicopters, uh, General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim was welcomed by the battalion's uh, commander. Mr. Mohammed Jama Qayyad, the commanders of the Horhol Military Schools, President Hassan Gulid, immediately the same guy went to the pickets of uh, honors, uh, drummed up in his honor to greet them. Participant in this end of training ceremony were the senior EDF leaders, the sub prefect of Horhol, and the notable saw of the locality. General Zakaria Shah Ibrahim, Chief of the General Staff of the Armed Forces, reviewed with the troops of all trainees present in the places of report and then greeted the platforms where the officials were seated, military and civilians. Uh, then the two committee chairs, Colonel Mohammed uh, Wais Habane, chairman of the CN1 internship uh, commissioners, and the Lieutenant Colonel uh, Mohammed Ari Abdidon, chairman of the CME internship commissioners, each uh, proclaims the result. Thus, uh, this ceremony was uh, the occasion to primaries. The laureate uh, were able to stand out uh, during the training. It is with great uh, pride that same guy decorated the promotion is major of each uh, the three courses uh, by promoting them as a merit to the higher rank. Uh, 
very satisfied with the result obtained. The same guy congratulate all the trainees for their perfect performance through the training and the images of our institution that they were able to show. General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim remained the trainees of uh, the main purpose uh, of uh, this uh, training which uh, are to enhance and improve the performance of military person by teaching them and the necessary techniques uh, and intellectual skills. The same guy emphasized that this uh, under the aegis of the Secretary General of the Ministry of Labor in charge of the reforms of Ad administration, Mr. Abdullah Ali Mohammed, uh, the National Institute of Public Administration is uh, closing this morning a training of writing and administrative communication. This training took place uh, in the presence of the Executive Secretary in charge of the reforms and administration, Mr. Mohamed Awale, and, and the Human Resources Director of the Budget Minister, Mr. Mohamed Ahmed, as well as the General Directors of uh, in APA, Mr. Sharmaki Idris Ali. This training was facilitated by national expert Dr. Abdul Qadir Ahmed and continue for five days uh, from uh, 23 to 27 December 2018 and this comes in the context of capacity building for new executive and secretaries of the various ministerial departments of the country. The objective of this training is to improve the skills of this official of the various ministries concerned to facilitate and provide services to citizen writing and communication is so at the main level for improving communication between the different public services of the administration. The National Union of uh, Jewish Women in partnership with the UNHCR office in Djibouti and the ONAHS organized an awareness campaign to fight against the gender-based violence in the villages of Ali Adde and Holhol. Hol. These days uh, dedicated to the fight against the gender-based violence have marked several activities, namely a uh, march toward success in ultimately combating gender-based violence, uh, then followed with some important sessions uh, as song poems and uh, drama on the themes of uh, the campaign and in violence against women and girls. Uh, some speakers uh, also scored uh, took part in the ceremony, the sub-prefect of the locality of Ali Adde, Mr. Shaban Daher Musa, and the programs managers of the UNFT, Mr. Mumin Aden, the implementing partners uh, of the refugee community and locals. Oboko Technical High School organized a short-term training in the day of Sunday's favorite uh, young, uh, for young Obok people, the leaders uh, of the region, among others, the prefect of the region, Hassan Dabele, and the chairman of the regional council, Mr. Mohamed Hamid Ismail, and the head of the regional services of education, participate in the luncheon ceremony. The training consists in the sanitary installation and the electricity of building. After receiving the UN agency UNICEF for Creative Kids, uh, the Secretary of State for Youth and Sport has uh, deployed through its uh, leadership CDC, impulse entertainment and activity of a new dimension is for the benefit of young people and especially young girls in order to further promote the female wines uh, and thus the within the framework of the saving mission is in favor of the promotion of the Jerusalem youth. Uh, these activities are launched in the presence of the Secretary of State for Social Senior Officials. Uh, the different kits are accompanied by manuals to help young people to use uh, these uh, interactive and uh, dedicated games material designed to promote the development of the cognitive skills of young actors and commit uh, actresses. Uh, the various sports and entertainment materials uh, contains in this case uh, if offered by UNICEF have uh, enabled girls to better benefit from interactive exchanges in the community development center. That's why CDC ma management decided to set, uh, to set up a girls only at this to scope uh, host scotches has 
is carry the balance and all that game is to get to give girls a good place is to play fulfillment. Saleh Hassan uh, family seek uh, their son's appointed Fahmi Saleh Hassan has been uh, missed since yesterday. It was uh, gone from his uh, house since uh, the community of uh, Balbala in the occurrence of uh, Karji neighborhood 3. It is ages uh, 10 years. Uh, its last disappearance it was normal and uh, meant still, still there are places to all people who meet to contact this number 7778-2218 or the numbers of the central commissariat 2135-2761. For the international scene, Donald Trump surprised visit to Iraq. Donald Trump and his wife Melania Trump along, uh, alongside U.S. soldiers in Iraq in the aftermath of the Christmas. Uh, the President of the United States made a surprise visit to an air base in the province of Al Anbar. This is uh, the first time since uh, his arrival the, at the White House Donald Trump, that Donald Trump travels to a conflict zone. The move uh, came a week after his decision is to withdraw U.S. troops from Syria. In Iraq, Donald Trump again justified this choice, saying that the United States uh, could not continue to be the policemen of the world, especially since the, for the American president, the Islamic State has almost been defeated. Washington has always announced the reduction of uh, troops in Afghanistan. And uh, this is it uh, for the news. Uh, thanks uh, for watching us. Uh.